Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics This Fair Academy YouTube channel. My name is Firoz Muhammad and in this video we are going to talk about what is Dynamics 365. Now you might have heard about CRM and ERP. CRM means Customer Relationship Management and ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. In a CRM application suite, we will have applications such as Sales, Customer Service, Marketing, Field Service and etc. And the ERP will have applications such as production, manufacturing, retail, commerce, etc. Now, Microsoft launched Dynamics 5 back in November 2016, that is six years back, and they combined both CRM and ERP application suites into one. Now, within Dynamics 5, we have both CRM and ERP application suites. That's what we are going to understand now. Now, prior to 2016, Microsoft had five ERP application and one CRM application. We had ERP applications such as Dynamics AX, Dynamics Navision, Dynamics GP, Solomon C5, etc. And one CRM application that is Dynamics CRM. Now, Microsoft combined both this CRM and ERP application suites into one big giant application suite that is known as Dynamics 365. Now, within Dynamics 5, we have CRM application suite that is known as Dynamics 5 customer engagement and we have two ERP application suite, one is called Dynamics 5 Finance and Operation or f and other one is Dynamics 5 Business Central or Dynamics 5 BC. Now, Dynamics 5 BC is the upgraded version of Dynamics Navision, f and is the upgraded version of Dynamics X. Now, other ERP such as Dynamics C5, Solomon and GP are noted migrated into Dynamics 5. But in sooner or later, they're also going to be added to Dynamics 5. Having said that, in Dynamics 5, we have customer engagement application that includes five applications such as sales, customer service, marketing, field service, and project service automation. That is the customer engagement. That is the new name of Dynamics CRM. Then under ERP, we have modules such as finance, then supply chain management, manufacturing, then talent or HR, then commerce, which is a new name for retail. These are the applications under ERP. And in the business central also, we have modules very similar to that of f and Now this picture explains it all. So on the left hand side, we have CRM application, which I just explained, sales, marketing, customer service, sales service, project service automation. On the right hand side, we have applications such as finance, supply chain management, commerce and talent. We are expecting more application on the right hand side on the ERP domain. Now, when it comes to customer engagement or CRM, we have the marketing module. With the help of marketing, you can broadcast the message about your brand or your organization in your existing as well as to the new customers. So you can talk about what is your brand all about, what you care about, and also your new product and services so that you can get a better brand image and as well as you can sell to your new customers. That's what marketing module will help you. We can set up marketing campaign, you can run them, you can just calculate the ROI of your marketing campaign end to end. When it comes to sales, which is comes after the marketing campaign, the sales consultants can take care of the sales activities starting from acquiring the leads, nurturing them till the closure of the business. So we have the safe life cycle within the customer engagement application suite. We can make use of that. And then comes customer service, post to sales, you need to provide customer service. So you can start creating a ticket in the customer service app. Then you can assign that to a technician or a mechanic and they will work on it or you can assign that to a field service engineer. They will start to work on it and they will fix it. Now field service module is an extension of your customer service module, which includes you are assigning a ticket or converting into a work order, assign to a field service engineer and that person will go to the client location and fix the issue. Then comes project service automation or PSA, which is nothing but project service management tool, or I will select project management tool within Dynamics 5 customer engagement. On the right hand side, we have finance, which is taking care of all the financial activity of your organization, supply chain management for those organization who can manage their supply chain activities end to end with the help of this application. Talent is a name for HR, which is nothing but an HRMS application. You can take care of all your HR and recruitment related activities with the help of talent. Then comes commerce, which is a new name for your Dynamics 5 retail application. 
that means you can set up dynamics for retail or commerce for your organization if you are into retail business and then you can manage your business end to end then also have models such as production manufacturing etc as a name indicate you will get an idea about what is all about so these are the basic applications that we have under dynamics file now if you want to start accessing dynamics file show you where you can do that so if you want to start accessing dynamics file simply search for dynamics file on google so that will take you to this particular website so here on this side you will be able to find set of products dynamics.microsoft.com that's the url so we have applications such as sales customer service field service marketing and then we have commerce connected spaces for protection so many things finance human resources then we have business central customer service supply chain management guides project operations etc so if you are someone who is extremely new this might confuse you because there are hell lot of applications and here and which one is connected to what you don't get any idea but like we already explained we have crm application and then we have two erp application within dynamics file and under crm we have applications such as sales customer service marketing field service project service automation and marketing under erp we have models such as commerce and project operation finance business central supply chain management and etc this is what you have so you got a basic idea about what dynamics file and what all the application including in that and then you can start creating a trial for example you can go to sales and then you have an option of creating a trial from here you have an option of creating a trial that trial will be available for you for 30 days you can enter your email address and you can click on start your trial once you have trial created you can try it out so here i have my dynamics file customer engagement account so where i have this application such as sales customer service marketing and then once i have selected sales i will be able to find all the entities belong to dynamics file so i'm talking about dynamics file customer engagement finance and operation and other models in very detail in other videos in our youtube channel so i would highly recommend you to check out the videos in our youtube channel if you want to learn more about dynamics file also we have video courses on customer engagement and power app on dynamicsfileacademy.com i hope this video is helpful to you also don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel have a nice day